Okay, good morning. Welcome to... Fun Math Number 42. Fun Math Number 42. I'm sorry I've got a little bit of a cold today. Uh, but here we go. Um, <clears throat> show that all multiples of 6 greater than or equal to 12 are abundant numbers. Okay, so this is a, this is a, a beginning proof problem which means you have to show a statement is true. So, <coughs> how would you approach a problem like this? What's the first thing you need to know to approach this problem? Well, what abundant means. Okay, so what, that's exactly right. What is an abundant number? It's a number that the sum of its divisors, some of its proper divisors, are bigger than the number. Okay, so great, here. So the prop, sum of the proper divisors is bigger than the number. Okay? Now, so we add up the proper divisors and we get a number that's bigger than the number. Uh-oh, but now we need to know another definition. What definition do we need to know now proper in order to understand what abundant numbers means? There's something we need to understand. The proper divisors. <laughs> proper divisors. Alright, what does proper divisor mean? It means the divisors except for the number itself. That's exactly right. The divisors except for the number itself. So an abundant number means if you add up all the proper divisors, you get a, something that's bigger than the number. And the proper divisors are all the divisors other than the number itself. Okay, awesome. So what can you tell me about multiples of 6 now? Well, other than 6. Yeah, other than 6. We need to show that they're abundant. We need to show that they're abundant. How are we going to do that? Well, we'll say the number, the numbers would be 6n. Okay. And 6n <coughs> has some divisors. 6n has some divisors. What are they? 1 and 6n. Okay. 2 and 3n. 2 and 3n. Okay, so keep writing. I'm just going to make sure you're on screen here. All right, good job. 3 and 2n. Right. 6 and n. 6 and n. Okay, awesome. And there, there probably are a lot, lot more, right? Yeah. Or there might be anyway. And to the proper divisor, 6n isn't. 6n. Why is 6n not a proper divisor? Because 6n is the number. <coughs> okay, awesome. Because 6n is the number. But 3n plus 2n plus n is already 6n. So, and then you add a little bit on, and that makes it abundant. Okay, that makes it abundant. Okay, so very, very good. Very good, very good thinking. So we just write down some of the divisors. 1 times 6n is 6n. 2 times 3n is 6n. 3 times 2n is 6n. And 6 times n is 6n. And now we just add up some of these divisors. 3n plus 2n plus n is already 6n. Yeah. And then we add, you know, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 6, and we're bigger than 6n. So it looks like we're abundant. The only little trap in, in this line of reasoning is if n equals 2 or n equals 3. So you just have to be a little careful. Okay? If n equals 2, we're at 12, right? Yeah. 12 is 1 times 12. That's what you had here. Yeah. 2 times 6. 3 times 4. And then 6 times 2. Oh, so we, we actually counted, counted twice. So you have to be a little careful with that. But, so is 12 abundant? Yeah, luckily these still sum up to be bigger than okay. 12. Okay, they're still bigger than 12. And then let's check when n equals 3, where we just have to still be a little careful. So now, now we have the number 18, right? 6 times yeah. 3 is 18. So we have 1 and 18, 2 and 9, 3 and 6, and now look what you have here, 6 and 3. Okay, so we can't count these six, the 6 and 3, and again, we can't count the 18, but do we still add up to be bigger than 18? Yep. Yeah, the sum is still bigger. Okay, what is, this, <coughs> what is the sum here? It's 21. 21, okay. Good. Now, see, when, when n is 4 now... What? So we would be at 24. We would have 1 and 24. 2 and 12, 3 and 8, and 6 and 4. So we'd be good now. 
now your reasoning would work. So you just have to be careful sometimes when you're doing these proofs to make sure that the all the abstract stuff works for small numbers. The yeah, small numbers are the harder ones. Okay, so we just had to check <coughs> 12 and 24 and then your method, sorry, 12 and 18, your method worked for anything bigger than 24. Okay, good job. Good job.